Good morning, we are continuing our sugar series and guess what's happening? Our Christmas giveaways are coming up. Let's get started. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Patrick Flynn. Welcome to this morning's A Different Perspective. I am always so glad that you guys join me every Saturday morning for the things that we put out there for you guys. It's been an absolutely incredible morning here in Green Bay. Hanging out with Travis, hanging out with Brandon, hanging out with all the people here. It's been fantastic. So I hope you guys had an absolutely wonderful week. It's been great. Um, and I want to thank you guys again. I know I like to thank you guys a lot because um, you guys make my week amazing in so many ways. Uh, but for some reason, this week has been a high response on email. And if you guys want to email me, you can email me at askdrpatrick at the wellness um, As I even look at my email right here and stuff, there's been a lot of cancers coming out. There's been a lot of people that are suffering with things that they've never suffered before. Um, it's interesting because I happened to look up some statistics, um, some sad statistics, but the largest funeral home um, company in the world stock has jumped 25% because for some reason over the last year, they've had a significant amount of deaths that they cannot explain. There's uh, life insurance companies that have definitely uh, affected their bottom line because people have been dying at much earlier and much more unexpected rates. And so it's quite interesting getting, and as I point to my computer, it's because I consistently respond to you guys that are sending messages. And it's interesting because the rates of cancer are just going absolutely crazy. So we're gonna talk about some things over the next couple of months about that as we continue to actually give you great information. But we are going to stick on something that we're gonna talk about next week because it's quite interesting. I'm gonna to talk to you about how sugar can affect cancers. But as I got those emails, I was going, oh, one of the first things that I said to him is, you gotta stop sugar. Uh, but we're gonna get into that next week. So the, we're gonna continue our series on sugar this week as we get into our perspective. But before we do that, there is one thing that had happened some years ago as I sat back and I always, I always try to predict things happen in the future. Now, once again, prediction, once again, what I mean by that is just quite simple, is I'm always trying to forecast, okay, what's gonna happen? How's this gonna happen? So things that happened over the last couple of years, there's things I forecasted that came about that way. But also, I knew that there's always gonna be a demand in practitioners that we need out there. And I can honestly tell you, uh, some of the greatest doctors uh, went through something young, uh, went through something with a, with a spouse, went through something with a loved one, with a family member, and that's why they became a doctor, and that's why they were very passionate about it. You know, this is, I just started. So for example, I've completed 23 years of practice, so I just started my 24th year, and we have hundreds of doctors within our organization of all kinds, and also nurses and NPs, and, and uh, even just, but there's, there's a special group of people that, uh, um, something I'm very proud of, uh, something I know that is going to not only continue to explode, but also something I believe that not only has made a huge impact on people clinically, but I think it's gonna really impact healthcare in general. Um, I, when I started to really get to know people as far as like their passion for health, there was something common that happened on a regular basis for many years. I would have, and, I, and, I will, and I'll say this, because yes, there is a difference between the sexes, male and females. But man, women do make about 95% of all healthcare decisions when it comes to the family. And women got very passionate about health. And I, I, I was sitting one time with uh, a woman and she just talked, I, I saw her passion come out and she was you know, in her 40s and she said, man, if I didn't have to go back to school, doc, and all the schooling that you did and some of that, guess what happens? Um, I'd be a doc just like you. And I'm like going, hmm. You know, that kind of struck me a little bit because I, you know, because I, I said to her, I'm like, you know something? The majority of our school is actually BS. <laughs> Guys, not a joke. The majority of your schooling, it's actually just a bunch of people kind of giving opinions. And here's what happens. Let me give you all kind of schooling, especially when it comes to healthcare. They give you all this information and they say, go out and practice. That's why they call it practice. Honestly, that's what I do. They call practice, like, uh, try this, do these things that way. And it's interesting, and I will say this, 
every practitioner I have from, doesn't matter if it's a chiropractor, doesn't matter if it's a nurse, doesn't matter if it's an NP, doesn't matter if it's a medical doctor, doesn't matter if it's a pharmacist, doesn't matter all these people that I go out and speak to that way. The stuff I teach them, I can honestly tell you, I didn't learn in school. I didn't. Do you see hand? I didn't learn in school. I, I actually had to deductively realize that our current form of schooling, no matter what profession you're in, even more of a natural profession, is really just trying to appease some medical thing. And it didn't make any sense to me. That's why everything to me is a different perspective. So I ended up going, you know, I look back at my schooling and going, you know, with the exception of learning how to physically adjust somebody, which is just a skill, um, anybody can learn it. It's just a skill that you can do. I was like, I could have probably got done when all my schooling within a year or two. And, and every doc that, that I still deal with today, um, even if I go speak at uh, um, any kind of professional, healthcare profession, I basically have to train and, and teach them all over again. And that's how the academy came about, the Wellness Way Academy, which has exploded. And we have amazing practitioners and we have amazing people. So what I wanna do is my team put together just a short clip video. So we're gonna run something to show you, something that we created that has not only affected people here in the United States, but we have graduates from all over the world now. So watch this. Today I wanna to talk to you about actually how the academy started. It's quite an interesting story. Let me build upon the story so you see where it came from. And I think you're really gonna understand uh, why it was developed, how it was developed, and the impact it's going to have on the future. So the academy was really stemmed from seeing the need that the current you know, healthcare system we have was not gonna lead people in the right direction. And the constant battle of going, you know, getting people to shift their thinking from a medical thinking. And you can ask Nicole, who's one of the professors. Um, it was difficult sometimes for her because she got caught up in her own thinking. But what if I told you that we put in courses within our academy that allow people to learn at an accelerated rate, but always come from a standpoint of, you know, how we view the human body, which is just standpoint how the body functions, um, and teaching them from that standpoint, why adding the things to help them guide and recover and help the patient recover, and how to test those things right from the start. As you guys know, my main background is I'm a chiropractor. Uh, I love being a chiropractor. It's taught me so many great things. Uh, the basis of the Wellness Way is based on the understanding of what chiropractic has been for you know, over 100 years, even though it's not practiced that way today, uh, unless it's in our venue. So I remember sitting in my consult room one day and being a doc that took care of majority females in the, in the last part of my career, that's all I took care of because there was major female hormone issues, there was a lot of fertility issues. And I watched these, these women of all ages, from 25 to even 60 years old, uh, when they had you know, menopausal problems and stuff of like that, just when they caught fire of what we were doing from the Wellness Way approach, it was like, oh my goodness. They could literally, with what, how in depth they studied and everything that they did, they actually had more passion and more drive to learn than even students that I met through chiropractic school, nursing school, medical school, doctors, nurses, even currently I'm going, my goodness, if I could take somebody that was extremely passionate and start basically a whole schooling that could teach them, get rid of all of the, let's say in a way BS, but get right to the in-depth teachings that can teach people the basis of, even from my standpoint, hormonal system. Um, so the endocrine system or the, or the immune system and didn't have to go and take an art class <laughs> in order to actually accomplish what they really wanted to do, which was sit in front of a person that was sick and suffering and guide them in a direction that was gonna make them have a much better life. But then post when you graduate that way, you have an opportunity to enter even somebody's clinic, somebody else's clinic, go on your own. And then what you get to do is you get to guide people to such a view of health that you get to clinically see them change. There's nothing more of a reward, and I can tell you, just by doing this for so long, um, well, now almost over 23 years, um, sitting there and, and by the advice that we give these people, it makes their life better. So the academy is actually set up for people to really, day one, start to actually have influence on people, to move them in the right direction, to be a good guide with sharing the principles to get people healthy. So that's what you can expect. You can expect a life of being able to guide people to see their life get better. And that's why it never, it never gets boring. I don't wanna say it that way, but it never gets boring. It's very exciting. Now there's a lot of emotion attached to it because you're dealing with very sick people that need help. So the reward is something that you could never ever, I never thought I could be in this situation, you know, 23 years later watching the stories of infertility and all these major conditions going away. Um, what we've attained in 23 years 
is incredible and what you can do is the same. Thank you, Amazing Media Team, for putting all that together for us. The Academy is actually very special to me, Nicole, Zach, and a bunch of other uh, people that we put together through the years. And it was just an idea. And see, that's one thing I want to tell you. You know, I hope you guys have had a great 2022. I know there's been a lot of ups and downs. There's been a lot of ups and downs for me. There's been a lot of ups and downs just in general. That's life, you say. But the cool thing is this, is you'd be surprised that if you find something that you're passionate about, how it can make things so great. Um, speaking of great, I will tell you this, I'm kind of addicted myself because um, I'm so excited for our amazing journalist, uh, Aaron, Betsy, and Lauren. You guys knew, met Aaron the other day on the show here, but I just love it every morning. Travis, I know it's kind of funny we talk about all the time. Um, actually, I love, our, I love our newsletter. Uh, please do me a favor, go to the website. Uh, click on, uh, scroll down and click on the link and you can actually get the newsletter. It now comes out multiple times per week. It's kind of great because as we continue to grow and be a large company all over the world, we will continue to put out more information more times per week. And I'll tell you right now, you know, we actually put it out twice per week, but eventually I can tell you right now, our newsletter will go out one time per day eventually as we continue to put more videos, more stuff that way. It's fantastic, so please sign up on our newsletter. Because on our newsletter, as you saw, you get great information sent to you, and it's kind of neat. You also get the show recapped. Uh, people say, Doc, you know, I sometimes don't get to watch the show live. You don't have to watch the show live. That's the nice thing about technology. You can actually go to the wellnessway.com and go to the ADP, and remember, ADP, a different perspective, and you can watch it on a regular basis when it's all up on there. But the greatest thing, I think, still what makes the Wellness Way special is go to wellnessway com right now and click on that little button that says find a clinic because we talk about the academy we talk about our doctors we talk about our nurses we talk about all the practitioners that do it but guess what happens the one thing i do love about that map as you can pop on and see the clinics all over the world you can find all these wonderful doctors that are doing great things out there it's quite exciting for us to see this and uh yeah i love when people scroll through and say oh my goodness there's so many clinics yep i can honestly tell you even since last saturday we added more clinics not a joke. Um, we're going to very excited because we're going to be having a clinic uh, as my daughter Faith moves down to, on January to Atlanta, which is going to be a very exciting day, but a very sad day as my daughter will be moving way down to Georgia, which is, as she continues to uh, progress and move her life in an amazing different season and uh, direction. But we actually are going to have another office down there as she enters school at Life University. Um, the chiropractic school down there and then it's kind of nice we are going to actually have a clinic there that we are going to have uh, for our students that can come over and train as you see we have our student program that we are constantly training our docs and preparing them for a very sick world out there so that being said we actually had just a wonderful week and so many questions coming in from the sugar thing so as you can see right here guess what happens sugar what everyone needs to know i know it's kind of funny I had so many people reach out to me and say, uh, Doc, it was very difficult uh, looking at my plate sometime this week because I was going, is that have a lot of glucose in there? Is this going to affect my blood sugar? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go a little bit more detailed today and kind of talk about the do's and don'ts and some of the things in the next step, like we talked last week about some certain things. We're going to recap a little bit that way. And then we're going to get a little bit more in detail to give you guys a next step, which you could do to actually go and actually prep yourself because remember, in January, we're going to start a no sugar challenge, see if we can go all month with no sugar. It will actually have a very imp good impact on your life and your health. So let's now move into our perspective. All right, excited to cover part number two of our sugar series. Now, let's recap a little bit because I want to say some things. Take a look right here. Let's, let's kind of look at uh, sugar in general. It is a generic term that describes any of the classes of soluble, crystalline, typically sweet tasting carbohydrates obtained from plant sources and other living organisms. So I want you to think about this, is it's a general term. So that's why when I say no sugar and you say, Doc, but you actually love sauerkraut. I think everybody knows, Travis, I think everybody knows that I love sauerkraut, I love organ meats, and uh, I think it's important to stay away from as much sugar as possible. Now, you're wrong. As I talked about last week, we all have major sugar cravings. Uh, <laughs> we do. Uh, people, people do not realize, if you hung out with me a day, I would probably say, I need some chocolate, probably about 20 times a day. 
you'll really sit. I'm like, and I'm searching around, and I love those little those little key, eco keto balls. Those uh, those are fantastic and stuff. And remember, if I ever talk about a product, remember the food product. I don't have any I don't have any endorsements for the company. If I'm drinking Zevia, I have no endorsements from the company and stuff like that. And actually, I had somebody say this on an email. Let me make this very clear. I am self funded. That means I use my own money to produce things and uh, all the equipment, all the stuff you see that way. I'm not funded by anybody, so therefore, everything I say, once again, is just a representation of what we believe here at The Wellness Way, and so therefore, guess what? I don't have you know, the keto balls saying, hey, listen, Doc, we'll give you some money if you actually promote us on your show because it goes to millions of people. No, 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 no. No, actually, everything I say, I just like it, so I want to crave it. I will walk around, go, anybody got keto balls? <laughs> hang out with things like that. It's kind of fun. Or I'm like, anybody got Lily's chocolate? Once again, I have no ties to Lily's, I have no ties to Zevia, but I like their chocolate. I do, you know what I'm saying? Um, what's their chocolates we like, Travis? There's just, uh, yeah, there, there's a bu bunch of them that we do. But anyways, maybe we'll have a chocolate day. I'm sorry, I just love chocolate. Just something about chocolate just makes you smile. You know what I'm saying? Even for breakfast. <laughs> you know it's really good? You know, if you, ever, if you haven't had it, try it. Try put uh, chocolate-covered bacon. Oh, amazing. It's fantastic. But anyways, coming back to the point, I had a little squirrel moment there. But I want you to understand that happens is, guess what? That sugar itself is actually multiple forms. We talked about last week, we talked about monosaccharides, we talked about disaccharides, we talked about polysaccharides, oligosaccharides. And the longer it goes, like I talked before, sauerkraut by nature is a carbohydrate. So by nature, it's a sugar, but they don't really classify them as sugars because when they talk about polysaccharides, when they talk about uh, uh, oligosaccharides, and I think they don't. And the only reason why I, I could find that they don't is because as they get longer, they have less of a chance of having a sweet taste. And so therefore, that's kind of confusing. And so there isn't really great way of explaining some of the things that way because you say, so that's why they talk about you know, good carbs and bad carbs. But we're going to get into that a little bit today. So if you look at this right here, I want you to understand. Simple sugars, monosaccharides. That's why I say no sugars. We're really talking about trying to reduce glucose, reduce, reduce fructose, and reduce galactose. All right? Those are the factors right there. Those are the factors right there. I want you to really focus on saying, listen, if we can reduce the glucose, if we can reduce the fructose, guess what happens? Those are the major sources that if we can just cut back, then this body's going to do a little bit better. And that's all I'm looking for. So I tell people, no sugar, have some sauerkraut, have some organ meats. There is a very good positive change that happens. So that's why when you look at, but they're needed. So let me show you something. You know, it's the most abundant source of energy in the organism. It's the most, uh, most abundant monosaccharides. Nerve cells, cells of the, the redeno medulla, erythrocytes depend on glucose for the energy product. In combination with mon monosaccharides, they make cell receptors, tissues, membranes, example joints. Now, people say, well, Doc, you're saying stay away from all of your monosaccharides. That would be bad because we need some of that because here's what happens. I am not saying that sugar is bad. So if you look here, I always tell people, pose the question. Is sugar bad for you? Okay. See, and that's the that's the part where and we have to really start to go, it's not good or bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like good or bad cholesterol. Okay, let me example. If I say bad cholesterol, everybody goes, well, that's LDL. And if I say good cholesterol, that's HDL. That's not really true. There is no good and bad cholesterol. Your body needs both of them. But once again, the relationship, if you see LDL very high, that means that a the body, there's something going on that's not really normal, but it doesn't mean it's bad. Now, once again, and see that's the thing. So when I say monosaccharides or I say those simple sugars, I say glucose or fructose, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it better be at the appropriate amounts because if it gets elevated, then there's something that's going to go wrong with the body. So remember that. So we, we, but the one thing is this, the major consumption per gram per individual, especially in the U.S., is dramatic of how much it keeps going up every single year. And we see that. We, that's why obesity is actually crazy and also crazy in children today. So I just remember this statement. Here we go. There's no such thing as good or bad sugars, carbs. It's the available glucose and absorption. So we talked about one of the key factors last week. Guess what happens? If we can reduce some of the sugar absorption, guess what happens? That could be good. Now, if you remember, we recap it. You know, start eating some fiber. Fiber is really key because fiber slows up absorption. And, and if you think about it this way, fiber is a polysaccharide or oligosaccharide. It's actually a lot of lot of monosaccharides put together, but they don't what? They don't break off, so therefore your blood glucose levels don't go up. So therefore, that's why people say sauerkraut is a carbohydrate. It really is. See, now a lot of people say, well, that's a good carbohydrate. Well, no, 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 don't get into that because once again. We need glucose. We need fructose for our body to run. It's just that if it's too readily available, absorption is too, too quick, you know, then guess what happens? It's going to be a problem because then blood sugar is going to spike. There's going to be some all problems. 
understand that, okay? So now, I think we have to look at the second key that we're gonna talk about today. The second key to all this is the availability. Okay, that's what we talked about. So first of all, if we can slow the absorption down, guess what happens? By eating fat, having fiber, as we now then, as sugar, the, the, the monosaccharides, the small ones, the available glucose, the one things that go up, right, guess what happens? Uh, we can actually, now if we do have the availability, guess what? We have less chance of it going in. So therefore, let me say this again. I want you to picture a food that is very readily glucose, the monosaccharide. It's gonna pass through, it can even pass through the mouth, pass through the digestive tract, and so therefore, guess what? Blood sugar goes up really quickly. If you have, once again, like fiber, um, guess what? There's a ton of glucose molecules put together, but they don't break off individually, so the availability is very low. So that's why I even look at charts like this. They talk about good carbs and bad carbs. Well, I don't want you to get into that. That's like good sugars and bad sugars. Well, guess what happens? Um, don't do this. You say, and I get what they're trying to do with a good carb, bad carb thing that way, but it doesn't make much sense. So I want you to take a look and think of it this way. Think of it this way. Availability. Factors that affect availability. Processing. Fiber. Even ripeness. You know, acid content, fat content. These are the factors when you talk about availability. So once you can slow the absorption down, and then if you look at things, that's why processed sugar, processed grains, you know, fiber, guess what happens? You understand if you process a grain compared to soak a grain, its availability of glucose is dramatic. And see, if you know that most of our grains, most of our sugars are processed, which makes it now more readily available. So therefore, what happens to glucose? Spikes up like crazy. See, so if you do food right, you can have less available glucose or it slows down. It's like when they process a grain. Because they say, Doc, there's, there's fiber in grains. Yes, but when you process it, you affect and denature the fiber, so therefore the glucose is more readily available, it's actually more absorbable, and so therefore, guess what? It spikes your glucose. So what I wanna do is this. So what I wanna do is kinda give you the no sugar kind of list, and then the good list. Because you know why? This is where I want you to start. So if you're just getting into this that way, and a lot of people are, just look at this, and I'm, and I'm not joking. If all you do is just cut back a little bit, cut back a little bit, now you say, well doc, Last week's show, you said even yourself, even you had a little candy on Halloween, the good organic candy on Halloween, that you by nature are going to eat more candy or more cookies or more stuff over the course of the holidays. We all do. By nature, we all do. You understand? Know Just because the availability. And what do I mean by availability? Man, you're going to have more parties. You're going to have more get scares. You're on Thanksgiving. Um, all those things are very important as you culturally get together that way. Because guess what? In January, especially in Green Bay, it's cold. <laughs> you don't do as much stuff compared to Christmas, compared to Thanksgiving. You know, we are just going to, by nature, be with more people. And you ever think of this? You know, people don't realize this. Do you ever notice that most things that we do are surrounded, uh, are, are actually involve food? You know, Sam? Even if you go to lunch with a friend, even if you go on a date night, even if you go to families, there's always, always like, you want something to eat? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to go out to eat? You want to do these things? It, it, I get it. It does happen that way. So you got to make the choices. So let's look at some of the avoid things first. Now, no joke. I want to put this number one. Just because it's my world, it's the wellness way world, you need to avoid all the food allergies. You really do. Because you know why? When you get inflamed, by nature, even your cortisol levels are elevated and they cause a problem, which can now change your blood sugar. Okay, now if you look at some of the things on here, there's a significant thing. I wanted to put alcohol there because alcohol is just pure sugar. It really is, it really is. Now you say, well doc, you know, you actually have a show just on alcohol alone, but guess what happens? I understand that because they're trying to get you the best sources, but remember, if we're really looking at sugars. Now there we go, all fruits and berries except for limes and lemons, okay? Now if you think of it this way, you say, Doc, but you love blackberries and raspberries, absolutely high fiber, things like that. But when you're starting, cut back on this stuff. Cut back on it dramatically because you know why? A lot of available fructose. And a lot of people with fatty liver, fructose we're going to talk about next show, we'll talk about it once again. It's, uh, that's one thing about the liver. It gets packed with fructose. Another one thing to deal with it. it your bloodstream is a little different. We'll talk about that next time. Your root vegetables, it's very important. Certain flowers, artificial sweeteners change your glucose. You know, beans, but you know something? Nice thing about hummus and the garbanzo beans, it has less effect. Bread, okay, Travis, come back to you on this one because 
Um, yesterday, I want to thank WTAQ, uh, the Christian radio station, for having me on. Thank you so much. Great show. David, uh, Mary, you guys are fantastic. I appreciate you guys a lot. Please do me a favor. Uh, they also have podcasts that way. They do a wonderful job. Uh, stand up for the truth. Um, David, so once again, thank you for having me again on the show that way. But it's really funny. Not a joke. Not a joke. <laughs> and and just by nature, I think I make people upset because of the things I say. But I got to say this, okay? Because here's what happens this. When you say it, you'd be surprised how many times that I'll get an email from people. Um, and they'll say, you know, Doc, you know, uh, our ancient bread and Ezekiel bread. Guys, it's just great Christian marketing to you guys. The bread's horrible. It's really horrible. Stay away from it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of funny because uh, you'd be surprised how many times that I'll be like, well, Ezekiel bread, it, it's God's bread. I've actually had people say that. I'm like, um, if you eat it, blood sugar goes up, lifespan goes down, you might just go see God earlier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, I just a little analogy there. But the idea is this. It's like, oh, no, Ezekiel bread is not healthy. Stay away from it. Okay, let's go back to that one thing here. Okay, different drinks, you know, breads, beets. No, once again, you say, Doc, you love beets, but beets will have a little bit higher in sugar. If you're, people don't realize a lot of our GMO beet sugars actually are there prevalently. Different squashes, kind of be careful with. You know, cane alcohols, okay? Potatoes, there's a big one. Now, come back to me on this one. Um, potatoes are one of those things that people don't realize. Do you know that quote by nature, if you ask the most eaten vegetable in the United States is actually a potato. Now, actually, potatoes aren't really vegetables, but that's how they classify them sometimes. And people think they're eating a vegetable, having a potato that way. Uh, potatoes actually have a really weird properties. They really do. Um, because you know what happens this is, believe it or not, it's gonna sound interesting, this is a whole other topic. If you have cooked a potato and let it cool, it actually has less available um, uh, glucose and the starch changes. See, that's why sometimes preparing foods. Now remember, I'm not saying eat your mashed potatoes and stuff like that. I'm going to say when it comes to just in general, let's get rid of our potatoes. So let's go back. We see more of these things on here. Certain oils, carrots. Guys, carrots, once again, most people don't realize how high sugar they are. Okay. Now you say, Doc, oh my goodness, look at you have coconut sugar on there. You love coconut sugar. Yes, but the available glucose and things like that. Dairies. All right. Now certain dairies are better than others, but cow's milk and some of that high in the dextrose, different things. Uh, even kombuchas. Kombuchas have a lot of sugar, okay? They're, they're processed and, and even healthiest sugar, even healthiest sugars on the planet, okay? Uh, grains, man, that's why you see grains scare me. Even, even sprouted grains, you know what I'm saying? I had to put that on there. And look at the sweeteners that just have high, high glucose that way. Whey protein, once again, pure, to me, just pure sugar. You know, even wild rice, people think that, okay, the more natural it is, the less glucose. That's not true. Um, see, that's the difference between eating healthy and keep your sugar down. You really, really got to keep your sugar down. It's dramatic how it goes away. Now, I can honestly tell you this. I can tell you that there's some days, and I will tell you that, Ed, that I feel the greatest when all I had was my organ meat and my sauerkraut. I can honestly tell you. Now, do you want to have a little bit more of a variety? Absolutely, you do. I have no problem with that. And that's what our, what our docs and our practitioners, our academy graduates, that's what they teach everybody. But no joke. Sometimes I'm just pure lazy which does happen, okay? I'm just like, grab the liverwurst, you know what I'm saying? Eat a bunch of it that way, and then grab the sauerkraut, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and like I said, it was gonna have no ties to Costco that way. Heck, I was kinda frustrated with Costco during the, the, during the pandemic stuff that way. But the idea is this, and I actually didn't eat any of their stuff during time because I wouldn't do it with mass stuff that way, but they have a great raw, fermented, because remember, you want to ferment your vegetables that way. Um, and sauerkraut. And I sit there just by, actually, no joke. Uh, me and Travis, maybe after the show, we're gonna grab our sauerkraut sitting in there, kick a couple bites that way. Um, I think I have a little liverwurst in there. You know, it's kind of cool. Uh, just great organ meats and, and great, veg uh, the great fermented vegetable. That's fantastic, okay? Now, so if you look at that list again, print it out. I'll put a link uh, down below where you can actually skip this, print it out. But here's an even better list. Look at this. <gasps> look at all the things you can do. Do you say, I'm, so look at the things you can add on a regular basis. You know, look at the things that you can put in there that would be fantastic. There's great things, you know, Sam. There really is. It's not like we're gonna, you know, not have a no sugar. We don't have a huge list of things that way. There's massive uh, the amount of lists that, that you can do that way. And because it's very important for that. You need things in there. And the, I mean, even have Lily's chocolate chips, you know, Sam. It's kind of great, you know, certain, certain things and all the, all the different things from the meats and certain vegetables and nuts and seeds and things like that you can. Okay, now once again, preparation of these things are very important. So I want you to look at the list and guess what? 
fantastic amount of things. Where I pop back to the not to do list, like I said, bigger print because there's a lot less to do. But then if you look, like I said, there's all the great stuff. And the nice thing is this, the less that you eat that's processed, the better, okay? And if you do have food allergies, let me say this, if you do have food allergies and they're on that list, don't eat them, you know what I'm saying? Because if you had food allergies, food allergies will over trump anything because it does create a lot of inflammation every time you have something that you should not be eating. Allergic is key. Now, one thing you say, well, Doc, you know, you say that you do like raspberries and blackberries. Yes, but here's what happens. There is one form of sugar you saw before. You know, glucose, fructose is important to stay away from for during this time. Fructose converts to several things in the liver. Glucose itself, glycogen, lactate, and triglycerides. That's a big one. That's a big one. Now, if you ever look at this, I want you to think about this. You ever look at LDL particles? You ever look at cardiovascular disease? You ever look at, you know, um, no joke, look down. Do you have a big belly? Triglycerides, okay? What I want you to understand is there's one of the big keys. And that's why when people are like, well, Doc, you know, if you look at what they did in the lab, they created high fructose corn syrup. And so therefore, what they found out was there was less available glucose. So your glucose dropped down and said, look it, great for diabetics. Well, not really. Because the organ that has to deal with your fructose is actually the liver directly. And that will change it to triglycerides very quickly, which can lead to so many conditions. So if you ever look at a cholesterol panel, all right, I'll tell you right now, look at your triglycerides. And Durang, they give a ridiculous range. I'm telling you right now, when it comes to your triglycerides, you want to be less than 90. Let me say it again, you want to be less than 90. Their range will let you go as high as 150. I'm like, uh, no. And say, if you see anything over 100, I'm like, you need to reduce that because you're going to pack those triglycerides into your liver and now end up with visceral fat and other things away. And so therefore I'd say get those down below 90 and you can do that very, very clinically and stuff and have great results and see that things change. But people do not realize there is a significant food that is a very popular in the health realm that people do not realize I would never eat. I would never eat. And they have these in drinks. They have these in a bunch of you know, desserts and things like that. So I kind of stay away from it. What is the highest fructose based food? About 80 to 9% of it is fructose. And here's what it is. Agave. Agave. See, I'm not a fan of agave. I'm really not. Never have been. Um, you know, people say, well, it's a sweetener that can be less processed and a little bit safer. Yes, but it has so much fructose. And when people are having so much fatty liver, it just, yeah. And they put it in even healthy drinks. They really do. They put it in things that are organic and things like that, but I just don't uh, do it, you know. And think of this way. You know, what alcohol do they make from agave? Travis, do you know? Tequila. Do you say I'm? And so therefore, high fructose. That's why I tell people, you know, be careful with alcohol because you're going to really do wonders on your liver, okay? And you're going to end up with alcohol uh, uh, fatty-based liver, but also just the fructose alone can actually give you non-alcoholic fatty liver disease that way. So when you actually have tequila, you kind of double whammy yourself. You have alcohol and you have a ton of fructose in there. So sugar levels go crazy, liver goes crazy, and and, uh, and all the people are like, dang it, doc, <laughs> you know, throwing the, throwing the tequila under the bus. Yes, Jose needs to go away, okay, during the holidays and stuff of that. So, but I understand, I know people that absolutely love tequila and some of that. And, and I remember my dad owned a bar and all I remember is Jose Cuervo trying to get that, that little worm out of the bottom, you know what I'm saying? And people went nuts over that little worm, Travis. I don't know why. <laughs> they did, it's like, they want that little worm as you're pouring that shot glass off. Anyways. But that being said, agave, be careful with that way because here's what happens. And the end result is this is something that I care about the most. Look at the labs, okay? Look at, okay? If you just take even take a look at this lab here. Number one, their glucose levels, you know, at 100. You know, I will tell you once again, I'd like to see them get down in the 80s for that, you know? Because if you look, they allow it to get to 100, but man, it's, it's like having certain ranges just driving nuts because they're like, no, get that down. But look at, if we look at their cholesterol panel, the reason why their total cholesterol, which is a combination of LDL, HDL plus one-fifth of triglycerides. Okay, remember that. Your total cholesterol is based on one-fifth of your triglycerides. Uh, so divide that by five, add up your LDL and HDL, and that's how they get their number. But that's why the triglycerides are 400. Look at that, 400. 
that dramatically is going to increase your total cholesterol, but it's also going to make all the other factors go up there. And look at this person's insulin down there, just jacking up. But then there's that marker that I absolutely love also, your hemoglobin A1C, okay? I want you to think about your red blood cells actually developing crystals and being like jagged edges because that's what's happening and that's why it takes three months to six months for that to happen so it's a picture of what's happening you've been doing over the last couple months that's why I, see you can change your glucose levels just your fasting glucose just by not eating all day and they can drop down but your hemoglobin a1c levels can't be cheated that way but if you look at the triglycerides on there it's just dramatically high 400 that's gonna cause, so, so I, I don't even really look at the LDL and VLDL. I do that for the purposes of what I wanna do clinically, but I'm sitting there going, man, those triglycerides right there, that's a cardiovascular nightmare waiting to happen. That's also a fatty liver. That's also, so I see these things, I'm going, man, there's so much problems that are coming about here, it's dramatic. So I definitely would I, be very careful with that. So as you look at some of that no sugar to-do list, not to-do list, it's something that I want you guys to take very seriously, especially if you have any cholesterol problems. See, because that's when, again, it's gonna to contribute to your cholesterol levels because your LDL, your HDL, your, your um, triglycerides will be more mobilized when this does happen. So it's important to make sure that we get that under control. There are certain ingredients that people can do that will help them to do it that way just by avoiding that. Now, but just as I said, avoiding it, reduce your absorption. We talked about last week, we talked about genema. You take it, genomic acid actually binds on the receptors where sugar goes, so you absorb less. But then what happens is this, your availability is there, so we want to bring down the availability by actually what we're doing and eating. But then what happens is this. People say, what can we do if all of a sudden things come about? Well, there's different products that you can do that your body needs to actually help metabolize, get rid of these, change these triglycerides, or even deal with the sugars that come about. So just what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about one major product I want you to do. So well, let's move into our product knowledge. All right. Specifically, what I want to talk about is something that you can look up. It's really quite easy, and they actually even done studies when it came to comparison to metformin and things like that. So I want you to take a look here. If you look, we talk about the efficacy of beriberian in patients with type 2 diabetes. And what they found out, and I'm actually just going to, I like to highlight it there, but I, I, I encourage you to read the whole article. In this pilot study, beriberian significantly decreased hemoglobin A1C. There we go it actually had a major effect on what happened over the course of months with, it, with these diabetic levels in diabetic patients. The effect of decreased neonacy was comparable to that of metformin, a widely used oral hypoglycemic agent. So what they've done, they've actually compared studies when it came to beriberium and metformin. See, beriberium is actually comes from certain plant sources. I'll show you the number one plant source it comes from. And there's multiple plant sources, and I, there's two that I love the most, but I will show you right now, is they've done this. They look and they go, well, if they compare it, it's kind of interesting. So they took a natural God-given ingredient in, in nature, and they took a drug, and it, it was actually more effective than the medication itself. So I was like going, okay, and it could even, they found out that it's even even. So the idea is this, I kind of laugh when they were like going that all these doctors just constantly prescribe metformin, 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 and all of a sudden it's going, oh wait, there is an effective thing that actually by comparative studies. So I want, I want, to, I want you to come back to this. I want you to come back and look, do me a favor. Just go, oh, sorry, but with the Travis, we gotta go here. Just go, just type in PubMed, look at the library, the e efficacy of what? Very, very patients with type two. I wanna go over this one more time. Look at it. Like I said, it was comparable to that of metformin. Comparable, okay? The effective decrease in hemoglobin A1C. That's significant. And the number one source, once again, of, of beriberium in nature comes from this plant right here, golden seal. Now, golden seal has multiple effects. It's also great for infections, also helps with allergies, eye infections, digestive issues, canker sores, vaginitis, urinary tract infections. Why? Because it has multiple components. See, that's what I like about nature. You know, that's what I love about it. You can have a plant that actually directly affects multiple systems of the body in a very positive way. Now, once again, it's something that you should be under the care of, a, of a, one of our practitioners in order to monitor that because go and see you want to kind of go on and off it that way because it does have it also an immune effect. But there's another product out there and I apologize for some reason, <laughs> I couldn't find my slide that our amazing team made up that way, but it's called Oregon Grape. 
Okay, if you look up, it has a high dose of beriberium in there. So these things are very effective. And oregon grape actually has a very positive effect on the liver. Golden seal, once again, has other clinical effects. So sometimes if I'm dealing with a person that you saw that lab with that way, I might use golden seal if they do have some bacterial overgrowth. I might use oregon grape to actually get the effect just on the liver because it has a major effect on the liver and the gallbladder, so it changes those things nicely. But see, that's the clinical thing. See, that's the great thing about when you go to the Wellness Way website, go to Find the Clinic, this is second nature, and this is very uh, common for our academy, our, all of our uh, chiropractors, all of our other practitioners of all kinds. So when I say wellness way practitioner, let's lump them into all one category. So all the wellness way practitioners are made to do these things, and it's great to see because they're very highly trained professionals. Uh, things know, and uh, they look at a person directly and see what their needs are. See, that's why people say, well, every diabetic should just take golden seal. No, that's not true. Every diabetic should just take uh, um, um, uh, organ grape. No, it's not true. Okay, that's the, that's the individuality and based on other things that are going on with them. And plus, once again, there's some things you wanna start, kinda of take a little break, start again. There's some things you can stand continuously, but that's why you need to be guided by an incredible practitioner that knows this stuff. And I'm very proud that our doctors are highly trained. Okay, so now, oh my goodness, Travis, we moved pretty fast to the show today and stuff like that. So, well, we bounced out from last week because last week went two hours. So today, but, like, but so let's travel. So let's do this because that's something I want to talk about. So let's move into our last 10%. So as I said before, final thoughts. Um, we have our Christmas holiday coming up. I was sitting reflecting this morning as I was rehearsing and going through my slides and putting everything together that way. And uh, I'm like, oh my goodness. I was actually sitting in my office in my home and I was looking over, cause you know I have my, my small Christmas tree up year round. Uh, I turn it on in November and leave it up all the way through January. And it's kind of great because I was sitting there and I was working on stuff and all of a sudden uh, I'm like, huh, I love the Christmas season. Be you saying? Hallmark movies have started. Uh, we started, we put all the decorations up here in the office. Um, Christmas music is playing like crazy. I think I'm even going to listen to a little Elvis Christmas today. Um, but the nice thing is this. The one thing that I'm, I've always done because I love the holidays is giveaways. Is giveaways. I really enjoy a giveaways because you know why? It's just by nature. It's always been something that I've loved. I've done it my whole life. I actually am kind of person that would rather give a present away than ever receive a present. It's just by nature. So we take the holidays so special around here and we do giveaways like crazy. Uh, we even by nature for a company, we have our 10 days of Christmas. What's 10 days of Christmas? Basically we do things for everybody with everybody on a, on a regular basis. And it's a lot of fun. We celebrate for 10 straight days here. It's kind of cool. We, we do everything from games to giveaways, everything, just even internally. But externally, we want to give away a significant amount of things. So I'm really excited about this upcoming season because we are going to do a ton of giveaways. And I love our graphics here, so we take a look. Ah, we're gonna do from our first day of Christmas, we're gonna do everything tonight. So let me start here, okay? As you can see, as we opened up the gift today, there will be, starting in December, there will be a surprise every week, okay? There'll be giveaways on ADP, on ADP. So I want you guys to do this. Travis, come back to me on this one. I want you to know this, that every Saturday through the month of January, what we will be doing, we'll be giving a, a ton of giveaways. We, um, uh, our team met, uh, I think it was, don't quote me exactly, but I think Thursday, as we were going through what we wanna do, uh, but we are going to give away and I'm very proud about this because our, our team put together great giveaways. We added up and we're gonna give away about $50,000 worth of things over the course of December. Um, during the times uh, over the last couple of years when people are having, losing their jobs or being stuck at home or you know things like that, we gave away a ton of things for people in need. Well, we're gonna do this in the month of December and it's gonna be on ADP. We are gonna, we're gonna centralize it to being on the show. So for you guys that are watching right now on Instagram, on TikTok, on the website, do me a favor. It's very important that you go to adp.thewellnessway.com because when you go to our website and watch it there, it's gonna be very easy for us to monitor and those are gonna be the people that win. <laughs> it doesn't mean you can't watch it on Instagram like you are right now. It doesn't mean you can't watch it on TikTok. It doesn't mean you can't watch it on other platforms. But for our team to be able to monitor and see who's engaging with us that way, thewellnessway.com, so go to ap.thewellnessway.com, 
start watching it from there, especially through December, because that's who's going to win. So I will tell you over the next couple of weeks, jump on the website, go there because then my team is going to interact and the people that are watching live are going to win. That's how it goes. And we talked about the Academy. We are actually going to give out an Academy scholarship for you guys that don't know that's 12 grand. You say, I'm the schooling isn't cheap, but the idea is this, it's incredible. So we're going to give away everything from scholarship to products, to things like today. So we're going to use our Instagram and our TikTok audience right now. All right. So, don't worry, you guys watching on the website, you guys are gonna get a ton of stuff, right? But let's, I know right now, um, remember, I mean, nicely, we were kicked off last week from TikTok, so we couldn't go live, but they, we actually did live this week, okay? Instagram, same thing, but guess what happens? We're live again. So if you're on TikTok or you're on Instagram, do me a favor. The first five people, the first five people that actually message and say, hi, Doc, uh, guess what happens? And the first five people that do it on TikTok, the first five people that do it on Instagram, are going to either get a I disagree book or a supplement. Okay, so I want you guys to jump on the DMs right now and say, hey doc, or actually jump over to TikTok and say, hi doc, and then the first five people. So I know once again that Dr. Devin is gonna be on my Instagram quick and I can already, oh my goodness, I can, um, ah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be sassy right now. Kira, you don't count. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. It's like uh, we have a wonderful student, uh, uh, Dr. Kira. I still like calling our students doctors and stuff because you treat them like professional because they are professional. Uh, she's also our leader, one of our leaders, our president of the Life Club that way. She jumped on right away and screams, hi, Doc. Um, uh, Kira, you, you can get anything anyway. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. But the idea is this, jump on Instagram, jump on TikTok, say hi doc, the first five people that say on there, you are going to get a giveaway, okay? We will DM you back if you're one of the first five and some of that. And yes, I know there's thousands of people watching on each platform right now. And uh, by the time I know we're gonna get a ton of messages, but that's kind of cool. It's probably been already, the top five are already probably on there as my phone's kind of blowing up right now. But the idea is this, giveaways, you know, um, it's a season to give, it really is. It's a very emotional season, there's a lot of things. I love Christmas, I really do. I think it's one of the, the best, I think it is the best holiday, that's why I start celebrating it early, and that's why we start some giveaways today. But I want you guys to understand that during the, the holidays, on Saturday mornings, I'm gonna do a lot of giveaways. We're gonna have fun with it that way. Uh, it's just gonna be so much easier if we actually concentrate everything to Saturday mornings. And if you are live, either on TikTok, Instagram, or the, or the, um, wellness way platform on our website, uh, you guys have a chance to win. Now I will tell you this, it'd be very much easier if you guys are on the website because then my team can actually monitor, see your name, do things that way. So I appreciate that. So, and also, also, um, if you're on one of the platforms, you know, especially Instagram, because it's very easy to DM people on Instagram. Uh, if there's somebody that's very sick and uh, needs a consult, we're going to give a ton of consults away during time that, uh, you know, reach out to us that way, send a DM that way, and then we can send you a link for somebody to actually have that that's really suffering, really sick, and maybe need something for Christmas. So um, I use the time of the holidays to really give back like crazy. Uh, we did a lot during COVID, but I just think the Christmas season is always something that way. If you've been blessed, if you have extra means, you have some of that, there's people that don't. There's people that don't have money for a lab. There's people that don't have money for a console. There's people that don't have money for something that way. Uh, guess what happens? Um, I'm the kind of person to say, listen, let's help those people out during this holiday season. That's just me. That's what I like to do. Um, I'll always give a lot away during the holidays because there are people that are suffering. There's people that are in need. Um, and sometimes just one phone call with one of my docs that just gets them in the right direction can change the direction of their life. You're saying they don't need full-blown care for everything? No, yes, obviously they're sick. They're going to need some help. But sometimes just one phone call can actually make such a difference that way. And therefore, guess what happens? It can change the direction of your life and put them on a path that just will be better. That's why I do these shows. It's like today, if you just take, once again, if all you do, and let me jump back to the slide there, Travis. Oh, I went the wrong way. Um, if we jump back, that's right, Travis. If we jump back to the no sugar list and all they start to do is actually avoid that, guess what happens? Their life will be better. It really will. Your life will be better if you avoid those sugars for the next couple of weeks. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult, but guess what happens? That's why we're gonna all kind of suffer together in January. <laughs> now, once again, hopefully the suffering in January leads to more avoidance that way. But as we do this, where it's again, we're all trying to do, uh, contribute to each other and 
invest into each other, to actually stick together and encourage each other through the tough times. Which, once again, food is very emotional. So sometimes asking people to avoid sugar is very tough. It really is. I get it myself. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, ADP. We will see you next week. My name is Dr. Patrick Flynn. Have a great week. And over the next week, have less sugar. Talk to you there. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video or live stream. Each week on A Different Perspective, we bring you the most cutting edge information on health you won't find anywhere else. For more information on this topic, please visit our website. A Different Perspective offers life-changing information and resources to share and explore. A Different Perspective is leading a health revolution.